If you're looking to up your mic quality without breaking the bank, look no further than the Fifine AM8. Big thanks to Fifine for sending this over, though to be clear, I'm not being sponsored and this video is my genuine review. The AM8 is a dynamic microphone that supports both USB and XLR, meaning it can plug right into your computer or audio interface. It has an impressive suite of features, including physical knobs for volume and mic gain, touch sensors for RGB control and muting the mic, and a removable windscreen. The RGB ring can be set to a few different patterns and can be turned off if desired. The AM8 also features real-time monitoring, which means if I plug my earbuds into the mic's 3.5mm port, I can hear myself talking into the mic in real-time. With all of these features at just $55, it sounds too good to be true. Obviously, this has to be a scam, right? Well, let's take a look. Unboxing the AM8 was pretty straightforward. It comes with a mic stand, USB cable, and documentation. The yoke comes pre-attached and supports both 5 8 and 3 8 threading. The mic housing is plastic with a matte finish. It doesn't give off a premium impression, but it still looks great and can fit into pretty much any desk setup. The AM8 doesn't require any software, so all you need to do is switch your device to the AM8 on your computer. Now that we've seen how it looks, let's hear how it sounds. I'll be comparing the Fifine AM8 to the Mayono PD400X, a dynamic microphone that often sells for well over $100. This is the sound of the AM8 in a quiet, untreated room. You must construct additional pylons. This is the sound of the PD400X in an untreated room. You must construct additional pylons. This is the AM8 with aggressive typing and clicking in the background. Did you know that Tony Stark learns from his mistakes? This is the sound of the PD400X with aggressive typing and clicking in the background. Did you know that Tony Stark learns from his mistakes? This is the sound of the AM8 when I am completely off axis. This is the sound of the PD400X when I am completely off axis. Now that you've heard both mics, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Personally, I was very impressed with the AM8's sound quality. It has a warm sound signature without being too muddy. The AM8 was also much better at blocking the keyboard noise than the PD400X. With both of these being dynamic mics, there was very little reverb coming from my untreated room. However, the AM8 does seem to cut off more of the high frequencies, which results in superior noise attenuation at the cost of natural clarity. Practically speaking, the AM8 isolates your voice very well. This makes it a fantastic option for gamers who want to improve their mic quality, and for streamers who want an affordable but upgradable option for their audio setup. I still prefer the PD400X's sound signature, but I can't help but feel like I overspent when the AM8 is so similar and only a third of the cost. In fact, when I switched over to the AM8 on Discord, none of my friends could tell that I was using a different mic. Given the AM8's feature set and sound quality, it's priced at a sweet spot where if you spend any more you'll hit the wall of diminishing returns. With that said, I do have two minor criticisms. First, I'm not a big fan of the button placement on the AM8. The mic seems to be designed to tilt with the volume knobs facing down, which makes the mute button easy to tap. However, I'd like to be able to adjust my volume knobs on the fly, so it makes more sense to me for the knobs to be on top. Second, the AM8 is a bit chunky. It's much larger than my PD400X, and I feel like it gets in the way more than it should. The actual mic itself doesn't seem that large, so I feel like the housing may have been inflated just to look nice with the windscreen on. Ultimately, you can't go wrong with the AM8. At just $55 at the time of recording this, you're getting a premium feature set, high-end sound quality, and superior noise attenuation. For just a couple extra bucks, you can also get the AM8 bundled with a boom arm. If you're interested, check out the links in the video description. Big shout out to Ted at Fifine for helping me out with this review. Thanks for watching.